In honor of September being Healthy Aging Month, we're looking ahead to the future and with more than 600,000 people in Connecticut aged 65 and older, it's important to plan now for their future living situation. And joining me now is Mario D'Aquila from the Assisted Living Services to walk us through some important information that we need to keep in mind when it comes to our elderly loved ones. Thanks for being with us, Mario. Thanks for having me today. Now, this is something that isn't on a lot of people's radars, you know, because they're really not planning, but really we need to because we don't want to be suddenly shoved into a situation where then we're frantically you know looking for answers we want to prepare right exactly and oftentimes it does happen where you know uh, grandma or grandpa or mom or dad, mom or dad. get a hospitalized uh, right. hospital visit and then they need to be discharged with some some home care, some senior options. So it's good to plan early to know what those options are. Right, and part of that is paying really close attention to their habits. What are some of the warning signs that people will notice around the home with their loved one that might say, uh-oh, we might need some extra help around the house? Definitely, yeah, you wanna keep an eye on uh, mom or dad or grandma or grandpa's uh, needs in the home, particularly if they're having uh, memory difficulties, right? Mm -hmm. If they're forgetting uh, certain things, uh, if there's some confusion being displayed, um, if they're neglecting their physical appearance mm -hmm. or they're not hygiene. Taking care of themselves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, if they have an inability to handle their finances, so if the bills are stacking up and things like that and they're having trouble sorting it all out. Mm -hmm. um, and also, if they have had a recent history of a fall, they're really, according to the CDC, uh, more than double likely to fall again. Um, soon. Mm -hmm. So it's good to keep an eye out for that. And once we do notice that, what's the first thing that we should be doing? What's the first yeah, step? You know, the first step is to really um, reach out to your state and local resources, such as the Department of Social Services. Um, you can go online. Actually, Google is a great resource to just type mm -hmm. in senior care options to really learn what the next steps are for mom or dad or your loved one to continue on. Um, with that senior care journey. Yeah, and talking about senior care, talk a little bit more about the variety of options, the levels of care. Definitely, and there's, they vary, right? Mm -hmm. So first there's non-medical, um, what they call homemaker companion care. Um, and that's essentially sending in a uh, caregiver into the home to provide uh, really long-term care for the senior so that they can age in place. From anywhere from two hours all the way up to 24 hours a day, they can help with activities of daily living, homemaking, companionship, cleaning, um, assisting with personal hygiene, and things like that. Um, then it goes more into the uh, healthcare side where there's a, a skilled, um, skilled home care, which is um, registered nurses, occupational therapists, physical therapists, hospice nurses that can come in and assist with the healthcare needs of the, uh, the patient um, to help them age in place more on an episodic basis. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's um, facilitative type living. So there's assisted living facilities, which I always say are like cruise ships on land, right? Um, and it's a one-time uh, monthly fee, essentially, that you pay for rent and meal plans and activities. Mm -hmm. And then there's CCRCs, which are continuum care retirement communities, which are really everything that you need all in a, a facility. Mm -hmm. So it has assisted living benefits, long-term care benefits, health care benefits, and things like that. And lastly, there are uh, rehabs, which are sk uh, essentially skilled nursing facilities. If the needs are a little more complex medically, this is a place that you'd go um, for either rehab support or long-term care. Right. Unfortunately, we're running out of time, but I do want to mention that because these uh, options are all very expensive, it may be a reason that people might not do them, but there's help out there, right? We want people to know that there is assistance available. There definitely is, and there's different payer sources as well from Medicare, Medicaid, long-term care insurance, VA benefits, and private pay is also an option mm -hmm. as well. All right, so the best place for people to go to get more information and dig a little deeper? Definitely, assistedlivingct.com, or you can give us a call as well. All right, Mario, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for A lot me. of information about important stuff to keep in mind. Thank you. We do want to make sure our loved ones are taken care of.